Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I'm in my car with my water and my headphones and I'm actually heading into the gym right now to do my workout for this morning. Mondays is a structured cardio day for me so I do about 30 minutes pretty intensely on the elliptical per my fitness coach and then I round out with either upper or lower body. So today is going to be upper body and a push day. So all of my motions are going to be pushing. I did full day last week and I love upper body. I much prefer upper body over lower body. So I'm actually excited for today's strength training. We have a pretty busy day today. Corey is golfing again today. I have really good meals planned, a really good dinner recipe. We're going over to our neighbors later for a little 4th of July get together. When you see this video, it is actually the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July. I will go ahead and pop some pictures in here that we took on our little 4th of July celebration with my in-laws, which was on Sunday. So I was able to get a picture with Troy, which was nice because we haven't had one since 4th of July last year. And I'll go ahead and pop in a side-by-side -side of 4th of July a couple years ago to now. And you can see quite the difference as I've lost over 100 pounds. So we're going to continue our 4th of July celebration by going over to our neighbors a little bit later this afternoon. But first things first, to the gym. I am just walking out of the gym. Holy moly. <laughs> that was a workout. My arms feel like jello. I'm sweaty. I'm gross. So I'm going to actually go home, get cleaned up, freshen up. I actually, I haven't finished my coffee that I made yet this morning. So I'm going to finish that and then I'll get ready for the day. We'll have some breakfast. <sighs> that was a workout. Good morning. I'm back from the gym. I am ready for the day. I'm just finishing up my protein coffee that I made this morning. I will be doing a whole video on the different ways that I make protein coffee, but in a nutshell, what I do every morning, which is a really good way for me to get in a lot of protein first thing in the morning, is I use a protein shake and I change it up. Sometimes it's Fairlife. Premier, Alani, kind of whatever sounds good to me. And then you know that for the last several years, I've put in a scoop of collagen in my coffee. I use the collagen for her brand. And within the last few months, I've been adding about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of just better fiber to my coffee. You guys, I have fallen in love with just better fiber. There are so many benefits to this product. Number one, it helps keep you full and satisfied. It has prebiotics in it, which are really important for weight loss and gut health. It also gives you a big punch of fiber, which helps you reach your fiber goal during the day. And it definitely helps with weight loss. So I've really been loving the product. It dissolves really well in any liquid. I actually did a little Zoom call with the owner, Kristen of Just Better. This is a woman-owned, minority-owned business out of Seattle, and she so kindly sent me a big box of goodies from Just Better. And I wanted to show you the products because I know a lot of you have ordered the big bag of fiber that I have, but she has a lot of other products that are really, really beneficial and great for travel or on the go, and she sent all of those to me. So thank you, Kristen, for sending those to me and I want to share them with you. So I got this huge box from Just Better. So first is the Just Better fiber in this cute little plastic container. This is ideal if you're like me and you add this to coffee or a protein shake in the morning. It's a great way to store your fiber rather than having that big huge bag. You can order it in this little plastic container. So this actually sits in my coffee supply cupboard and then I'm able to add this to my coffee. I really like it, it's small. It also would be really great for the office. She also sent me the Just Better Shaker bottle. So you can see that it has the shaker type of lid at the top. 
Did you know that you can cook with Just Better Fiber? And it's a great way to add fiber to food without any taste, any texture change. And one tablespoon of the Just Better Fiber is five grams of protein. And this says, give your favorite food or beverage a healthy upgrade. She did put a little note on this and said that this isn't ideal for travel because sometimes the powder will leak out of the little shaker bottle, but you can put the shaker bottle in your cabinet in the kitchen and add the fiber to food. She also sent me another one of the scoops I really like this because one end is a tablespoon and one end is a half of a tablespoon. So depending on how much of the fiber you want to add to your food, it's all dosed out here with the spoon. And I'm really obsessed with this little goodie right here. So these are travel fiber containers. The packaging is so cute with the green bow. I didn't even open it because I wanted to show it to you guys in the packaging. This is actually how it comes when you purchase it off of the website. So the first thing in there is a super cute little funnel. Now this is perfect to add the fiber to the little to-go tubes. Yes, to-go tubes, which I'm obsessed with for travel or if you actually go and pick up coffee at like Starbucks or Dunkin' or your local coffee shop, you can put the funnel directly into the little tube and add your fiber powder from your bigger container. And then these close right up and you can throw them in your purse and you have the perfect dose of fiber for on the go. It also comes with a little Ziploc bag. So what you could do is fill up your four tubes, toss them in the little to-go bag and throw it in your purse and then you always have your Just Better Fiber on hand and the funnel actually collapses so you could even throw the funnel into the bag as well. This is a huge, huge game changer if you're not someone that makes your coffee at home or if you wanna add fiber to your meals throughout the day in the office or on the go, you have it portable. And then lastly is this other pack for travel. It comes in a little Ziploc bag. And it comes with one large bottle and one small bottle. Again, use the funnel to fill these up and take these for travel. So if you're heading out for a weekend getaway or a vacation, this is ideal to take your Just Better Fiber with you. The small bottle holds seven tablespoons or seven servings, and the large bottle holds 14 servings or 14 tablespoons. So if you're using, say, two to three tablespoons a day, this would be enough for a little weekend getaway. Use your funnel to fill it up and you have it for travel. And there is another product coming mid-July that I'm really excited about that's kind of on the same lines as taking your Just Better Fiber for travel, and I couldn't be more excited about it, so as soon as it's released, I'll let you guys know it's another huge game changer. There, she also sent a couple of information packets, and I wanted to share some extra information with you that I didn't even know about. That's a benefit of Just Fiber. So on this card, it says, promotes weight loss, prevents blood sugar spikes and crashes, may reduce the risk of heart disease, by decreasing bad cholesterol, fixes many tummy troubles without embarrassing side effects like gas and bloating. And that's what I found with any other fiber supplement is it causes major bloating for me. The Just Better Zero Bloat. Simply add to hot or cold food or beverages. Dissolves completely no taste, no flavor, and no grit. Literally no grittiness. And all it is is non-GMO soluble corn fiber. That's it. You always receive the dosing guide when you order the product. So it tells you exactly what Whatever you want to try to correct with the fiber or how much fiber you want to add to your day, it gives you how much you should use each day for dosage. And then this little book is interesting. It talks about how it affects your blood glucose post meal. So when you consume Just Better Fiber with a carb heavy or fat heavy meal, it helps regulate your blood sugar and helps your body digest better. So it's great to have some of the Just Better before one of those carb heavy or fat heavy meals. And again, it gives you, you know, all of your dosing, suggestions. Maybe you want regularity, biochemical values, mineral absorption, or long-term effects. And I love that it talks about the difference between probiotics and prebiotics because I get this question a lot. Prebiotics such as fiber are really, really important for digestive health, not to mention they pair with probiotics for optimal gut health. So the Just Better is a great source of a prebiotic. So I like that they included that as well. So I just wanted to share with you some of the good stuff that she sent me. I will be utilizing all of this. I have a few trips coming up and I'll be, of course, taking my Just Better fiber with me. I will link it down below for you guys with 10% off. Do yourself a favor and pick it up. It is a complete game changer for all the reasons I mentioned. Can you see Palmer out there? He's so cute. 
every morning when he gets up, he goes and lays out on the turf for about 10 minutes, half asleep, gets nice and warm, and then comes in to start his day. He's so stinking cute. And actually, Diesel's out there too, which is interesting because he doesn't do as well with the heat, but he loves our backyard and he's always laying out there in the sun. And just heads up, Lola's in bed still. I am ready for some breakfast. And since I had that Core Power Elite protein shake this morning. I'm not super hungry, but I need something solid in my stomach. So this is going to be my breakfast slash morning snack because it's already 9 a.m. So I won't eat again until lunch. But back in the day, back in the day, I used to share the healthy eating all the time and go bars here on my channel. They are a nice clean bar from a small business. And it has been a long time since I've purchased them, had them, shared them, but I decided to pick some up. And this time I really focused on her bars that have a lot of protein. So I have three different bars that I want to share with you that I've been loving. In fact, I've been eating these every day, whether it's a snack or breakfast, really good bars. All her bars are really, really good. They have nice clean ingredients. I mean, perfect perfection when it comes to ingredients, but these particular ones that I picked up have a big punch of protein, which you know is what I look for in a meal or a snack. So the first one is the peanut butter protein bar. Now these are going to have a little bit more points, but it's better to spend your points on healthy options. So these bars, this particular one is 210 calories and it has 15 grams of protein, 15 nice clean ingredients. I Again, you can't beat it if you want a healthy alternative to a lot of those really crappy ingredient protein bars. This is another one that I really love. It did get a little melty in the Arizona heat, but this is the natural peanut butter protein bar. And this one actually has chocolate and blueberries. It's 230 calories and again, 15 grams of protein. They do have a chocolate protein bar too, which I really like. I've just eaten all of the ones that I bought. And then this one's probably my favorite. And this is the peanut butter chia protein bar. This one is 205 calories and 14 grams of protein. And I really like that this one has chia seeds in it. They do get stuck in my teeth, which I don't love, but chia seeds are just such a great thing to incorporate into your meals. These three or four really with the chocolate protein bar are kind of my go-tos. I think today I'm going to do the natural peanut butter. Here's what the bar looks like. I mean, they are huge. And I'll tell you that one thing about these bars is they're much more filling than a lot of those processed protein bars. These ones actually keep me nice and full. I mean, I can eat this for breakfast and be full till lunch. So soft and so good. I will link healthy eating all the time and go bars down below for you with 10% off. Like I said, all her bars are really good, but if you're really focused on protein, those four, those four are going to give you the biggest bang for your protein buck. So I just mixed up my post-workout. I've actually shared this with you guys in a couple of videos. This is from the brand 6AM and this is the finish line in watermelon. This is such a great post-workout supplement. It really helps with muscle recovery, helps with soreness. Today, as you saw, was weights for me, and I'm generally pretty sore the next day, and this one really helps combat the soreness and just makes it go away a little bit faster. I'll link it uh, down below for you guys. I just mix it up in my Lululemon water bottle. Speaking of Lululemon water bottle, so many of you have reached out and said that you bought this bottle and you absolutely love it, which makes me really happy because like I said, it's a game changer water bottle. I don't know what's in it, but it makes your water taste really, really good. I'll link it for you guys too, but I'm gonna sip on that for a little bit before I have some lunch. So lemon tree update for you guys. I've been keeping you posted on my lemon tree. You can see that I have a lot of, of lemons. I mean, every branch is covered with lemons. My mother-in-law said don't expect them to ripen until like December or January but I can't wait to not have to buy lemons because this tree is covered. I also have my orange tree here, which you can see has lots 
of oranges on it, which I'm assuming will be ripe about the same time as the lemon tree. And then unfortunately, this lemon tree doesn't produce fruit for some reason. So I'm not sure why. If you are a lemon tree connoisseur and you know why it wouldn't produce fruit, I'll let a girl know. But I think I'm going to sit outside for a little bit. It's really nice. I mean, it's hot, but it's nice. Do you want to stay outside for a minute? You should go get your ball and I'll throw it to you. This is what Diesel does because it's too hot for him most of the time. He lays by the door. He can still see in the backyard, know everything that's going on, but stay nice and cool. Do you want to sit up here with mom? It's warm. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's toasty warm and it's a little bit muggy because we are in the middle of monsoon season here, which means that it rains pretty much every day, only for a couple minutes, but it rains every day. So it's way more muggy than normal. I'm dressed perfectly for this weather and going next door. Hey, you did get your ball. Palmer, good job. He went and got his ball. Good job, Bubba. You want me to throw it to you? You got to let me have it if I'm going to throw it to you. You ready? I'll zoom you guys in. Good job. Good job. Good job, bud. Okay. It's lunchtime. So in my meal prep this last Monday, I made this Hawaiian pizza chicken. If you have not seen my meal prep and if you have not made this recipe, make it. It is so incredibly delicious. It's chicken with cheese, pineapple pizza sauce, so good. And then I have some broccoli. I just add a little bit of butter, spray butter or light butter, salt and pepper to it, warm it up in the microwave, and this is my lunch. And like I said, if you haven't seen my meal prep, Go watch it. It's so good. All three recipes are so good. Do you have your bone? Palmer, Palmer, show daddy your bone. Show him. Oh, yeah, show daddy. Show him, Bubba. Yeah, Palmer. Yeah, daddy loves your bone. He likes it. Show it to him. Oh, this dog. I have this fruit left over from last night when my in-laws came over. And I think what I'm going to do, just so that I have a health, healthy option when we head over to my neighbors, is I think I'm going to add to this fruit bowl. I have a ton of fruit cut up and I'm going to just add to it and fill up the bowl and then I'll take that over with me. Doesn't that look so incredibly delicious? She said that she's doing simple food like wings and things. I always like to be prepared when I go to events. If I can control at least part of what's going to be there food wise, I prefer to do that. So by bringing this mix bowl of fruit, it's beautiful, it's festive for the 4th of July. And I know that I have at least one thing I can fill my plate with while I'm at this little get together. I don't know what's going to be there for food. For the most part, she just mentioned wings and like easy things. So a little tip for you when you are going to events or parties whatever you bring make sure it fits in to what you're eating because at least you can fill your plate with that simple afternoon snack this is just going to tide me over until we get to our neighbors where there is dinner so this is just one of the organic valley stringles string cheese i buy these at costco it's my all-time favorite string cheese we are walking over to our neighbors for the little fourth of july thing i have my fruit my water bottle, that'll definitely help keep me on track. And I just ate that cheese stick. That will definitely help as well because it kind of curbed my super hunger before we head on over. We have the easiest dinner ever for tonight, but this is such a good recipe. I am making an easy beef enchilada casserole. There's four ingredients in this with the exception of any toppings that you want to add, but let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need enchilada sauce of your choice. You're also going to need some one point tortillas, preferably light shredded cheese and a pound of 93 or 96% extra lean ground beef. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and brown our ground beef. While that's browning, we'll get the casserole prepared. So the first thing we're going to do is put about a quarter of a cup of our enchilada sauce in the bottom of the baking dish. 
I like to splash that around just so that it covers the entire bottom. So using four of our low carb tortillas, we want to cover the entire bottom of our baking dish. So I'm going to kind of tear my tortillas. I think that's going to make it a lot easier to completely cover the bottom. And again, you're using four total. Once your ground beef is cooked, we're going to add about a quarter cup of the enchilada sauce and about half of a cup of light cheese, which is about half of this. This is one cup total. Stir that all together. You can go ahead and turn your heat off. Now we're going to add half of the meat mixture to the top of the tortillas. Drizzle over another about a quarter cup of the enchilada sauce. And then we're going to repeat with the remaining four tortillas. Then we're going to add the other half of a cup of cheese right on top. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I am going to cover this with some foil and pop it into the oven. So here is dinner for tonight. Doesn't this look absolutely insanely, insanely delicious? cheesy, full of protein. We have some low carb tortillas. I'm gonna show you a few things that you can add to it to kind of spice it up a little bit. And then I'll plate it up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So you could add a guacamole cup or some fresh avocado, sour cream. You could do salsa, green onions, black olives, lots of stuff you can add to it. But I think for me, I'm just going to top it with a little bit of sour cream. I have some roasted vegetables left over from dinner last night. So I'm going to serve it up with some vegetables as well. So here is my dinner. I have it on a fun 4th of July colored plate in honor of the holiday. So I have one eighth of the enchilada casserole the recipe makes eight servings total so this is quite a large serving and then I have some roasted up mushrooms bell peppers zucchini and yellow squash and that's going to give me that big punch of vegetables that I'm looking for in my meals so this is tonight's dinner I'm finishing the last of my water and for dessert I'm going to have one of the frosted birthday cake quest cookies I love these they're really good and they have five grams of protein they're really soft they remind me me of the loft house cookies I'll show you guys what they look like see you can see that they're frosted and they are just super super soft and they're so good like the perfect perfect dessert you try to make yourself feel better by taking me down once I fell but now I'm strong I'm ready for the rematch so that's a wrap on today's what I eat in a day. It was a great day. It was a super laid back, chill 4th of July. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all the good food that I ate throughout the day today. Definitely check out Just Better Fiber. Fiber, I'm telling you, total game changer. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and click your bell so you never miss a what I eat in a day or any of the other five videos that I upload every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And last, but certainly not least, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.